The topic of today's video is second theorem of Hohenberg Cohen. The first theorem of Hohenberg and Cohen has been explained in my previous video. You can find the link in the description. So today I am going to discuss the second theorem of Hohenberg Cohen. So moving on. First of all, you need to know that all the ground state properties of a system can be calculated using the ground state energy functional. Okay. So let me explain it in clear words that if we have an energy functional, that is, if we have the true ground state energy functional, then this energy functional can be used to calculate all the ground state properties of a system. Okay, and I can write this ground state energy functional as E, GS means ground state N, or I can also write it as E naught E zero N. So, according to the second theorem, the electron density that gives the lowest possible value of energy functional is the true ground state electron density. So, what we are doing here, we are just finding the electron density. Okay, the value of the electron density that gives the lowest value of this energy functional is the ground state electron density. So, what do we do? We use the variational theorem. We just apply different values of the electron density and finally for one of these electron density, the energy functional will have the minimum value and that electron density will be the true ground state electron density. Okay, the true ground state electron density can then further be used to calculate different properties of a system. You can, after finding the true ground state electron density, you can use this to find different properties of a system. Okay, so the electron density that minimizes the energy of the overall functional. Okay, again, I'm going to tell you the same thing that the electron density that minimizes the value of the energy that minimizes the value of the overall energy functional is the true ground state electron density corresponding to the full solutions of the Schrodinger equation. Okay, so moving on towards the explanation. So what do we have here? The total energy of a system is given as E rho F H K rho E N and we have integration d r v x r rho r and here as you can see rho represents the electron density okay so this term f h k rho represents two different terms okay it is composed of two different terms t e is the kinetic energy of the electron okay this is the operator for the kinetic energy of the electron and this is the potential energy for electronic electronic repulsion the repulsion between the electrons okay this term represents the potential energy for the electronic repulsions and again here this vx vex represents the external potential and in my previous video i have told you that external potential represents the nuclei okay and en here en represents the nuclear repulsion okay that is the repulsion between different nuclei okay so i have told you before that the electron density okay the electron density that gives the lowest value of the energy functional is the ground state electron density and that energy functional will be called the ground state energy functional okay so this here is the energy functional this here is the ground state energy functional and this here is another energy functional so whichever energy functional we take the value of that energy functional should be greater than the ground state energy functional what does it mean it means that the ground state energy functional will always have the lowest possible value thus when we have the lowest value for the equation one okay so when we have the lowest value for this equation then this gives us the ground state energy functional which can then further be used to calculate all the ground state properties of a system okay so when we are just plugging in the value of the electron density here in this equation and if this electron density is the ground state electron density then we will have the lowest value of this equation and 
if the electron density that we are plugging in in this equation is not the ground state electron density then the value of the energy functional will be greater than the value of the energy functional for ground state electron density okay so that was the second theorem of Hohenberg and Cohen. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.